introduce you now to Sydney and Kyle Neville. They discovered a fossil that's more than 100 million years old. They found it while hiking at Garden Park in Canyon City last November. They discovered a femur believed to belong to either an Allosaurus or a duck-billed dinosaur. Piecing together the fossil will take months and it will eventually be on display at the Royal Gorge Reason Regional Museum and History Center. News 5's photojournalist AJ Vega shows us what's next for the fossil. I saw Jurassic Park when I was three years old. And ever since then, I just fell in love with dinosaurs and never grew out of that phase. It's really an incredible experience to actually be hands-on with the fossils and being the first person to see something in over 60 million years. One of the biggest questions is, how do you know that's a fossil? A lot of people look at it and think it's a rock. On this side, there's a smooth curve, and that's where the fibula would have rubbed up against the femur. There's a few diagnostic features. There's grooves, and see this channel right through the bone, areas that you can tell where tendons were running through and where other bones would rub up against this one. So from that, we can tell that it's a femur. In this area, where it was found, it's right around 155 million years old. Um, but Garden Park is actually famous for its fully articulated skeletons. So this was discovered in November, and we excavated it a week or two after its discovery. And then it sat in the jacket for a few months, and early January, I started to prep it. So any of the fossils that were on top started removing that one first, which led to another one, which led to another one. It's actually extremely rare for, to find a full skeleton. Um, on a good day, you'll find maybe 15 to 20% of a dinosaur. And I think it would either be an Allosaurus, it walks on two legs, kind of look like T-Rex, but not quite as big, or a Camptosaur, which was a duck-billed dinosaur. It's a great educational piece to actually hand it off to a kid and let them feel and touch it and tell them that it's a real dinosaur bone, it really brightens up their day and it's a story that they keep with them. Photojournalist AJ Vega with that story for us. Well,